Let me just introduce the team. Uh, Frederick from Mariners in Ipswich. Enrique Bilbo from the Great House in Avenue. Right, we'll start with uh, some filleting fish with a specialist. You won't believe his name, but he's called Ben English. So Ben, yeah. we always start by just making a small incision around the head. That's the key to working with any fish really, is to try and keep the knife as straight as you possibly can. So we make an incision around the head and then we're feeling for the, the main bone. And then we're just sliding along that back bone. That's good isn't it? Wait till we turn it over. <laughs> And then the homeless, so obviously in the restaurant it's not true, we, we do it with reduction of shallots, uh, vinegar, uh, but here is, is the quick way because you don't want to look at us being an homeless sauce for that, you know, so a little bit more. Butter is good for you. Well, can you see that? I'm born with butter and cream. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Then. And then I'm going to use now a little bit of a lemon juice. Did you bring the quinis with you? No, no, they are in the fridge. Ah, okay. yeah. I will be back. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of bouillon here. Why not? And then a bit of liquid because it was too thick. And I'm going to put my chive. And French chive has a really wonderful flavor. With, with Hollandaise, it's absolutely superb. A bit of salt and pepper. Have we got that? God, there's nothing here. <laughs> the cell the point of cell. It's always like that in the kitchen. <laughs> then they're going to blame somebody else. <laughs> yes. And there's always. Where's the coffee chef? <laughs> so I'm going to dress the plate now. Three little potatoes. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. So I give a, a nice preparation, and I'm going to put the little. Alors, let's sauce on top of the potatoes. Not too much. Then I'm going to wait until Pascal has finished with his... He's finished. Just waiting for you. Fantastic. And then I'm going to have... Uh, not too cooked. Just on top. Oh, don't move. Yeah. I will put the quail egg here. And then you can see they're very nice and soft. They've just been cooked. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> so, and I'm going to put the chorizo here like this. And it looks like a little bit of green. So, I'm going to put a bit of green. I like the green here. The color. And here we've got a dish. Okay, well, can you see it or? I'm going to cut this one like a butterfly. So I'm going to take off the skin first. You're skinning the salmon first to start. <laughs> you get very thin. So for the squid carbonara, we're not going to use any pasta. We're going to use a squid, and we will have the look as a spaghetti. So I'm going to make a, a bacon sauce. 
We are going to serve it with a little bit of a Colombes sauce here. Don't think we only do Hollandaise sauce. <laughs> okay? We can do other sauce. But you didn't prepare, did you, Frederick? So what I'm going to start with is the bread. So about 100 grams of uh, uh, white bread. So we saw it with a bit of Hollandaise on it. So we don't need that anymore. Eh? We well, maybe for another dish later. But... <laughs> Just crushing the bread until it makes like a, a nice paste. And then I'm going to chop some uh, some Swiss chard uh, green, very finely. So I've got a very hot pan, so I'm going to quickly um, the squid. Yes, I put the sauce on the plate. As you saw, I didn't seasoning the, the sauce because um, the bacon is salty enough. Okay, I've just added um, the chopped Swiss chard, then the parsley, uh, the chopped parsley, basil, and cherry. Just mixing it uh, together again. Okay? Oh, you can push it. Yeah. You can mix it. Yeah, that's good. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you call that? Trompe l'oeil of um, a spaghetti carbonara. So here's one. Uh, sorry. Yes, Here's one I made uh, earlier. <laughs> Not earlier. <laughs> earlier. I know because my son and daughter are born in England. And we don't say apple, we say apple. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mix is done. I'm going to put the eggs on the middle. The egg. <laughs> so just uh, put one fillet onto the other, making sure it's nice and, uh, and tight. And tight, yes. <laughs> That's it. Okay, and in the oven. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. It's not a question of speed, by the way. It's a question of look. Look at them, the first one. Take out the walls. That's good. They didn't split. It burnt. <laughs> but doesn't matter because you can't see. <laughs> oh, something. It's not good at all. <laughs> but put it in the oven for 180 degrees for about 20 minutes, and it will glaze on top. Where's my cake gone? Ah, here. Denis, Denis wins. <laughs> And then you get that. 